William, one of the things that I want to ask you, of course, it's the impact of AI in personal finance, in investing as as well. What's your what's your thought on that? Yeah. There's there's a bunch of products that are coming out that are trying to bring investing advice um, and make it more accessible. And I think that there's there's going to be something there that's impactful. Um, I mean, if you think about some of the like algorithms and everything else that's going on already, like we essentially have some level of AI that's built into like the trading system. So I think that that's a whole nother conversation. But if we just look at like the personal finance space, I think that's the biggest opportunity. Um, but at the same time, if you look at the job of an actual financial advisor, so I think AI can help bring a financial advisor to everyone. But if you look at what the actual job of a financial advisor is, yeah, they might help you make some investment suggestions or things like that. But really what they do is they manage emotions. So when the market's crashing and a client wants to sell everything, like they're there to talk to them or, hey, I want to retire or, hey, this major life thing came up. Like, can we afford it? Like, that's really what the financial advisor's job is. It's like to manage emotions and sort of help keep people on the right path. So I think that's where there's a really interesting thing with AI. I don't know, how, like, I don't think it's empathetic enough. I don't think that you can connect with it quite enough. But like, over time, I think that's what what gets really interesting. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think that's part of the impact. I believe that where we are with Ostrich, which is getting people started and like getting over the action side of things, like that is still that is still a barrier that will exist because you've got to get somebody to opt in and make that decision, whether it is even just signing up for an AI product or starting to use a, a finance tool that uses AI. So I still think there's that problem that we're sort of solving, which is like getting people to actually take that action. That's a little different. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I see. And again, I'm not, it's still super early. Um, and I'm sure there's a thousand other use cases out there that, that could be really interesting, but that's where I'm most interested when it comes to AI and, and the personal finance space.